हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर पूजा बंसल एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू द ओ बी जी वाई डॉक्टर पूजाज एजुकेशनल चैनल एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कॉन्ट्रसेप्शन सीरीज दैट इज लॉन्ग एक्टिंग रिवर्सिबल कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव एंड इन लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक अबाउट सेकेंड जनरेशन कॉपर कंटेनिंग डिवाइसिस एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हारमोन कंटेनिंग इंट्रा यूट्राइन डिवाइसिस that is progesterone cert myrina and some new uh, iud's also so our main focus will be on myrina then uh, mechanism of action advantages and disadvantages along with the mnemonic and then failure rate contraindications along with the mnemonics and then uh, timing of insertion steps and instruments required for insertion then uh, steps of insertion and then follow up removal and comparison between copper t and myrina so starting our session with hormone containing intrauterine devices as you all know these are long acting reversible contraceptives so these are further divided into third and fourth generation third generation contain uh, further two number one is progesterone cert so let's discuss this first Progesterone cert contain thirty eight milligram of progesterone, which release at the rate of sixty five microgram per day with the lifespan of one year and drug release till three years. So progesterone cert is not commonly used right now. So our main focus will be on second third generation that is Myrina that is also called as LNG twenty. So this is Myrina. it contains t shape polyethylene frame and this central part vertical reservoir uh, contains 52 mg of levonorgestrel and at the end there are two threads uh, that you can see these are monofilaments and overall copper uh, this uh, myrina is radio opaque so uh, let's focus on the numbers uh, myrina contains 52 mg of levonorgestrel which is a type of progesterone and it release at the rate of 20 microgram per day so how can we remember this like uh, two uh, uh, ends here and two starts with this then it with the life span of 5 years like 5 uh, uh, starting with uh, here and 5 uh, is here and it releases drug till 7 years that is 5 plus 2 means 7 so Myrina LNG twenty contains fifty two milligram of LNG, releasing at the rate of twenty microgram per day, with a five year lifespan, with a drug release till seven years. So now moving on to fourth generation, which are the new ones and frameless ones. As you can see in this picture, there is no frame. So, uh, uh, what are the examples? Number one is Skyla fourteen, Lilita. and fibro plant 14 and 20 so you have to just remember their names that is enough uh we say they contains 14 mg of lng release at the rate of 6 microgram per day with the 3 year life span so uh, what uh, matlab what makes them a new or fourth generation or better than myrina number one is they cause irregular bleeding but there are less chances than myrina second is they are smaller in size than myrina therefore they can be used in smaller uterine cavity so there are two advantages over myrina moving on to mechanism of action how they works they work as same as progesterone only pills so number one most common and most important is they work on uterus by preventing the implantation of blastocyst and uh, uh, by making the endometrium thin so no endometrium no implantation of blastocyst second is on the tubes they decrease the tubal motility third is on the cervix they make the cervical mucus very thick so that uh, it uh, makes the uh, impermeable to sperm as well as the infections uh, which can't ascend upper and therefore this lead to decrease in the pid rates also so most common important action is preventing of implantation next question is do they effect on ovulation to answer is no because they produce a local effect on uterus so that is it doesn't affect on ovulation so what are the advantages of myrina as we can say so it is same as long acting reversible contraceptive as we discussed it earlier also so it can be remembered by a mnemonic 
CDEF with non contraceptive benefits with the mnemonic fed up hai so c is cost effective overall initially marina is expensive no doubt about that it is 3500 rupees but if you compare the cost na with the duration of action so it is effective overall d is daily attention is not required because uh, as you know marina is put it in the uterus so it doesn't affect on sex e is estrogenic side effects are not there because it only contains progesterone therefore they are safe in a b and d a is they can be prescribed to all age females and b is breastfeeding females also because it doesn't affect on milk production then d is they can be given to diabetic obese hypertensive and thrombophilia females also so c d e and f is fertility return and a female can conceive immediately after removal of myelina then last is our non contraceptive benefits so it can be remembered by a mnemonic fed up hab that is f e d a p h then uh, what is the mechanism of action here due to progesterone there is endometrial thinning or atrophy means there is no endometrium left to bleed therefore no endometrium means decrease blood loss in heavy menstrual bleeding patients therefore it can be used in fibroid and endometriosis female because uh, this is caused by estrogen and uh, progesterone act opposite to the estrogen and decreases the blood loss in these patients so f is fibroid e is endometriosis d is dysfunctional uterine bleeding in this it decreases the dysmenorrhea that is pain during menstruation decreases the bleeding during menstruation that is decreases the menorrhagia which decreases the bleeding which improves improves the iron deficiency anemia and uh, a is adenomyosis then p is it decreases the pid as i told earlier it thickens the cervical mucus which decreases the rate of ascending of infections so it decreases the pid then h is hrt that is hormone replacement therapy it can be used as a progesterone form for endometrial protection after menopause and last is they uh, doesn't have any systemic side effects because they produce the local effect and their drug absorption in the blood is very less so their systemic side effects are very less so advantages are cdef with non contraceptive benefits with fed up hair then disadvantages initially it is very expensive we require trained staff to insert myrina insertion expulsion both can be painful next most important question is can it be used as emergency contraceptive answer is no copper tea can be used as emergency contraceptive but myrina can't and fourth is our side effects that is weight gain bhai to weight gain is around 2 to 3 kg due to fluid retention b is tenderness of the breast h is headache or migraine a is alter mood and then most common is our i most important is irregular vaginal bleeding due to endometrial shedding and thinning which is followed by spotting in between the menstrual cycle that is intermenstrual bleeding or amenorrhea uh, no menses at all because no endometrium is left to bleed so side effect is weight gain bhai then failure rate it is very effective as tubal sterilization or tubectomy that is point 2 and contraindications uh, like absolute and relative absolute contraindication uh, in mc4 category can be remembered by a mnemonic same as copper t absolute contraindication replacing one word that is please don't put copper t in uterus is replaced by please beware to put copper t in uterus p is our pregnancy and postseptic abortion perpural sepsis uh, if there is a patient is pregnant or is having infection obviously we can't put any foreign object like myrina inside the uterus then beware b is breast cancer p put as pid and pelvic tb which are infections and we can't put the foreign object like myrina or copper t 
copper T is sees cancers starting from lower to upper that is cervical, endometrial, ovarian and choriocarcinoma. Uh, we can't put any foreign object in the uterus and uh, hormone containing objects. And then the U is uterus that is unexplained vaginal bleeding. And second is uterine anomaly and fibro fibroid, large fibroid. It makes the uh, myrena unfit or uh, easily to expel it out. So absolute contraindications are please beware to put copper in uterus. Then relative ones are postpartum 40, more than 48 hours to less than 6 weeks, past history of breast cancer, and a DVT or pulmonary embolism, migraine with aura, and liver disease and cancers. So moving on to timing of insertion. In normal menstruating female, it is advised to insert uh, myrena uh, within a starting of day 1 of menses to day 7 of menses. In this backup is not required. But if it is uh, inserted after 7 days of menses, then backup for 7 days, that is another method of contraception, example like condom is required along with the myrena. Then postpartum female may till 48 hours of delivery and then after 6 weeks of delivery, we can insert the myrena. In post-abortal female, till 7 days of abortion, plus uh, there is no requirement of backup. But if we insert myrena after 7 days of abortion, then backup for 7 days or another method of contraception is required with UPT negative. Fourth is our, if we switch switching from any another method to myrena, then we have to continue that previous method for 7 days along with myrena. Then moving on to steps of insertion, same as copper tea insertion by any morning A, B, C, D, E. A is ask the patient about the history and along with the bimanual examination with empty bladder which include per speculum and per vaginal examination. And this both A and B is necessary to exclude any contraindication. Then C is consent that is written consent is required. Then D is drugs. There is no need of any antibiotics, but we have to give the painkiller to the patient half an hour before the procedure. Then E is explain the procedure, protocols and follow up to the patient. So step of insertions are A, B, C, D, E. Next most important question is what are the things or instruments required for the insertion? So, uh, eight th uh, things are required. Number one is sterile pair of gloves, then myrena with the inserter. Third is a bowel with antiseptic solution with the cloth pieces. And fourth is sponge holding forceps, then sim speculum, then Ellis tissue holding forceps, uterine sound and scissors. So, le let's see how does myrena looks with the inserter. So, this is myrena with the inserter. Number one part is arms. This T shape are the arms and uh, this hole is this insertion tube with calibrations uh, over here in centimeters and this steel colored is a flange and this third part is our uh, handle with threads with the slider over here and a mark is there. So, most common and uh, question to be asked and important topic is how to insert the myrena. So, here number one uh, step is we ask the patient to come in lithotomy position with her buttocks at the edge of the table. Then uh, we uh, uh, insert the posterior vaginal speculum to retract the posterior vaginal wall and uh, holding the sponge holding forceps with gauge pieces in it we clean the vulva vagina and cervix of the patient then uh, we have to hold the anterior lip of the cervix with the ellis forceps and measure the utero cervical length with the uterine sound in a pen like manner and along with the uterine uh, Utero cervical length, it also tells about the position of the uterus, whether it is antiverted or retroverted. Then, second step is we need to fit the device before insertion, which is further included, uh, like described in three steps. So, number one is we have to open the package using the sterile gloves, we have to lift the handle of the inserter. 
second is we have to load the myrena into the insertion tube by moving the slider all the way to the forward position to load the myrena means uh, myrena ki jo arms hain they will go into the insertion tubes and uh, we have to maintain this forward pressure so uh, that uh, myrena doesn't release prematurely then third is we have to set the flange holding the slider in this forward position we have to slit, uh, set the upper edge of the flange to correspond the uterine depth that we have measured with the uterine sound so uh, putting the device before insertion then uh, third is uh, loaded load in the uterus withdraw the inserter and trim the thread uh, continuing with the third step step 4 is now myrena is ready to be inserted so we have to advance the insertion tube until the flange is 2 cm away from the external os of the cervix and if you require any dilation please do dilate it before inserting the myrena then step 5 is we have to open the arms by moving the slider down to the mark to release the arms in this manner and wait for like 10 seconds then we have to advance it to the fundal position gently until the flange touches uh, the external os of the cervix and if you feel any resistance means uh, myrena is in fundal position then step 7 is to release the myrena and withdraw the inserter then we have to move the slider all the way down to release the myrena from the inserter and withdraw the inserter from the uterus and step 8 is trimming the thread by using a sharp scissors leaving about like 3 cm outside of the cervix so overall we have to clean the uh, clean the vulva vagina cervix holding the anterior lip of cervix and measure the uterus cervical length then fitting the device before insertion by opening the package and loading myrena into the insertion tube by moving the slider all the way forward and setting the flange then uh, 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 insert the myrena open the arms and advance it to fundal position then release myrena and withdraw the inserter and trim the thread and uh, in follow up we have to ask the patient to come uh, again on after 4 to 6 week of insertion and once a year thereafter and uh, if patient want to remove the myrena so then we have to apply the gentle traction on the thread and pull it out last is our comparison between the copper tea and myrena which is very 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 important so copper tea is basically increase the pelvic inflammatory diseases within like one month of insertion and the most common if it cause the pid to it is actinomyces which can be like treated by symptomatic method and penicillin based antibiotics but myrena as you know it contain progesterone making cervical mucus thick which uh, decrease the entry of sperm and uh, as well as infections to so decreasing the pid copper tea can be used as emergency contraceptive but myrena can't be used and most common side effect of copper tea is heavy menstrual bleeding uh, and second one is pain but if uh, uh, question is asked most common reason for removal of copper tea it is pain so most common side effect of myrena is irregular vaginal bleeding but it decreases the bleeding copper tea can increase uh, the pain and uh, myrena can decrease the pain failure rate of copper tea is 0.5 to 1% and uh, uh, myrena it is very effective as tubal sterilization it is 0.2% then expulsion it is 10% and myrena it is 5% and copper tea is included under government of india schemes means it is freely available and in government hospitals in india and myrena is not and uh, copper tea is cheap as well as myrena is expensive so this was my lecture on myrena and lastly i want to request you all to give something back to the planet and uh, uh, like uh, we can uh, do this by saving the electricity like there are various methods like switch off the lights anywhere if you feel like there unnecessary lightning is over there so you have to just switch off the lights or um, 
यूज़ द एल ई डी लैम्प्स और सोलर लाइट्स और यूज़ द नेचुरल लाइक सोर्स एनर्जी सोर्स लाइक टू ड्राई यूअर डिशेज एंड क्लोथ्स एंड एनी थिंग एनी थिंग वी कैन डू टू गिव द प्लानट बैक सो आई एम चेंजिंग माई सेल्फ आई एम प्लानिंग टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट एंड लेट एस ऑल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट एंड सो लेट एस क्विकली रिवाइज दिस वीडियो अगैन and uh, so we discussed about hormone containing iud's divided into third and fourth generation third generation is progester cert and mirena which is lng20 and fourth generation is new one that is frameless example skyla lalita and fibro plant then mirena contains 52 mg of lng releasing at the rate of 20 mg per day with five year life span and with a seven year of drug release main mechanism of action is on uterus by preventing the implantation other two are decreasing the tubal motility and making the cervical mucus thick and this doesn't affect on ovulation advantages are cdef with non contraceptive benefits with mnemonic fed up hai then disadvantages are can't be used in emergency contraceptive and side effects like weight gain bhai the most common and important one is irregular vaginal bleeding it is very effective as tubal sterilization contraindications are absolute like please beware to put copper tea in uterus and uh, timing of insertion may normal menstruating female within ten, uh, day 1 to day 7 of menses postpartum may till 48 hour and after 6 weeks of delivery post bottle till 7 days of abortion and then steps of insertion is a b c d e and uh, eight things are required to insert myrena and steps are like we have to clean the vulva vagina cervix holding the anterior lip of cervix and measure the utero cervical length second one is fitting the device before insertion which includes further three steps like opening the package loading the myrena into the insertion tube by moving the slider all the way forward then step 3 is setting the flange according to the uterine sound then third step is loading in the uterus withdrawing the inserter and trimming of thread then uh, continuing with the step 3 myrena is ready to be inserted and then we have to um, advance the insertion until flange is 2 cm from the cervix opening the arms by moving the slider down to the mark then advance it to the fundal position until the flange touches the cervical loss and then releasing the myrena by moving the slider all the way down and withdraw the inserter and step 8 is trimming the thread leaving 3 cm outside the cervix follow up we can call the patient after 4 to 6 weeks and removal by uh, applying traction or thread and uh, lastly the comparison between copper tea and myrena so hope you like my videos and lectures and uh, positive and negative both comments are welcomed and uh, thank you so much for listening